tastes like Nova Scotia. What brought my family to Nova Scotia, I guess, would be the phrase, go west, young man. Open pastures and opportunities. Nova Scotia was far enough west for my parents. It reminded my mom of her homeland in Denmark, and my dad from the Rhine Valley he thought he could make something uh, happen. My dad met a researcher at the Kentville Research Station who got him going in grapes. Uh, Yost Vineyard started in uh, 1983, or it was licensed for the first time in 83, and my dad decided we should start making wine again as we did in Germany, and that's how it started in the garage of our house. The following five years, uh, under his mentorship, I learned how to run the business, and he ended up dying in, uh, in the summer of 88. That's when I took it over at age 26. I knew at that point uh, the wine business, and that would end up being a big part of my life. Certainly was scared getting into it, first battle, of course, being is getting Nova Scotians to drink wine. Number two battle is to get them to drink Nova Scotian wine. And the third battle was to get them to drink my wine. When I first started working at Yost Vineyards, he always sat down with all the new staff and had tastings with them. He noted that I was interested in the smells and the, and, and the taste of the wine. And I didn't know what I was talking about, but he noted that I, I, I was interested and keen on, on that aspect. So he always suggested, you know, there's a sommelier course, you might want to look into it. Brock University, where you can get a, a Bachelor of Science in Viticulture and Enology. You might want to look into that. I looked into it and it just opened up my whole world. My wife and I, we ran it always a bit as a mom and pop kind of operation. The industry and the, or the business itself had grown to a size, I think, beyond my comfortable capacities. Tidemann Brewing Company started in that fall of 2012 as we were just leaving Yost Vineyards and I thought what a cool project that would be. The smallest brewery in Nova Scotia right here in Tadamagush. Shortly thereafter my daughter Christiana expressed interest in that, in that idea. We opened up the brewery in 2014, the summer of 2014 and it's been going wonderfully since. Running a business with my father is an adventure. We started working together when I was 22. We opened the brewery when I was about 23, 24. So my entire adult career has been working with my father and my husband. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> my father's love of local has impacted my entire life. Uh, I've been his sidekick since I was in a car seat. I started checking menus when I was about 12 years old to see if they carried local wine and that's only continued to this day. Watching my daughter Christiana and her husband Matt run it certainly gives me a great deal of pride. They do things differently than I would. Now I see why they would have done it this way and it's just wonderful how they've progressed it in their own vision and view. In the end, much better than how I would have done it. Supporting local is, is important for so many reasons. You can say the jobs and all of these sort of things. But when it comes, for example, to the wine and the beer industry, it's now in part what helps define the province. It's also part of what gives people the reason to, uh, for joyous moments in the province. Good food and good dining is so important beyond the GDP that it creates, but rather the environment it creates of where people want to live. When I first started Tatamagush Ice Creamery, I was really looking for someone to bounce ideas off of, a mentor. Hans Christian really helped to put Tatamagush on the map. He created that environment of entrepreneurialism, of food, of excitement, of something unique and different about the area. Choosing three words to describe my father is near impossible, but I would say he is determined, passionate, and kind. I think Hans Christian is the perfect combination of an 80-year-old type of person that has so much wisdom and so much experience and so comfortable with themselves and with their opinions of things. But he's crossed with like a seven-year-old or a five-year-old child that has the sparkle in their eye and they always want to learn and do and, and uh, make things happen. Hans Christian really embodies the spirit of Nova Scotian entrepreneurs in the food and wine industry. He's been such a great mentor to so many people. Uh, I can't think of anyone better to signify a, a culinary ambassador than Hans Christian. My hope and goal was that eventually people in Moncton, Charlottetown, 
Sydney, Halifax would go to the Annapolis Valley or maybe to the North Shore to enjoy the Nova Scotia wine industry and to see it the same way. And I think we're there. I'm so proud to have been a small part of that.